Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about event. What is an event and what are the different types of events uh, with respect to OpenGL graphics library. So that means, so if you want to develop a CG program, right, uh, with respect to events, how you can do that? How we open GL is going to recognize different types of events that are going to be generated in the with respect to open GL perspective I'm going to explain what are events and what are the different types of events and how those events are going to be recognized in your program so if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel to get the notification of my new videos please click the bell icon so let me start the explanation of event driven input. So the various events can be recognized by the window system and callback functions can be used for each of these events. First of all, what is an event? Event is nothing but it is an occurrence in time. Event is nothing but it is an occurrence. For example, if you click the button in the keyboard, that can be a keyboard event. If you press the mouse button, that can be a mouse event. Right? So event is nothing but a occurrence in time. Something is going to happen. For example, when you press a keyboard, uh, that particular character will be displayed on the monitor. So when you press that particular uh, key in the keyboard, uh, signal will be sent to the monitor. That, Right? So every event is have, uh, having some action every event is having a action when you press the key that will be displayed in the output right that is the action right so that is the event so if i say event there are different types of events for example mouse event keyboard event etc okay now so if you use a pointing devices first of all i'm going to consider a pointing device like mouse okay if you use a pointing devices like mouse, trackball or a data tablet, so you can al it allows the programmer to indicate a position on the display. You know that. You can select something using a mouse. So if I say a mouse, there are two types of events associated with the mouse. Right? So first of all, uh, first one is move event. Move event is generated when the mouse is moved with one of the button being pressed. Right? If the mouse is moved without a button being pressed, this event is called as passive move event. Getting my point? If you move the mouse, that can be called as move event. If you move the mouse by pressing one button, it is active move event. If you move the mouse right by without pressing the button, it is a passive move event. Now, second one is a mouse event. So what is the mouse event? It is generated when one of the mouse button is either pressed or released. Getting my point? When you press the mouse button, definitely signal is going to be sent to the CPU, right? So, that is one type of event. So, if I consider a mouse, uh, when you press the mouse, one event will be generated. When you move the mouse also, the event will be generated. So, event is nothing but it's occurrence in time something is going to happen if you move the mouse or if you click the button in the mouse something is going to happen right that is event so next not only the mouse right for example see here so the information written to the application program includes button that is generated the that generated the event for example i don't want to confuse you guys so here to recognize the mouse event I'm going to use this function in the OpenGL. So with this is void my mouse. So what are the arguments for this my mouse function is button. So that is a left side button or a right button. State. State means you can press the button or you can release the button. So X and Y are coordinates. Your screen. This screen, what I'm explaining, this screen is two, two day, two dimensional. Right? So sorry. So see here, sorry, so this is y direction, this is x direction, you can move horizontally or you can move vertically. 
so to recognize a mouse event in the opengl i can use this function so for this is a example you can see here so button uh, this is the first argument say state is the second argument x and y are the third and fourth arguments you can see button is equal to glut left button that means you are pressing the left button of the mouse when you press the left most uh, button of the mouse what will be the state state is down because you are pressing the button that is state will be down so this this function is going to gen uh, is going to recognize the event right when you press the mouse button particularly left mouse button instead of left mouse button you can use a right mouse button here right mouse button when you click the right mouse button you should use left sorry you should use right button instead of left and glut down will be same right getting my point the above code ensures whenever the left mouse button is pressed down the execution of the program gets terminated why here if you press the left mouse button what is the condition i have given here exit if you press the left mouse button your program is going to be closed terminated getting my point so every time when your mouse button is pressed how it's going to be recognized using a callback function see glut mouse function my mouse every time when you press the mouse button this mouse function is going to pass the control to the this function see this function is going to pass control to this function it is going to be executed this is call back every time when a mouse is mouse button is clicked you need to call this function you need to call my mouse function getting my point guys suppose if you have any doubts you can post your doubts in the comment section next so this is a example program this is a open gl program to display a square when a left button is pressed and to exit the program when a right button is pressed i'm not going to concentrate more on the program logic here but anyway i am going to explain in simple way see here so if you are using a open gl library you should include a header for gl bar glut.h this wh and w is a width of the window width of the window means where the output is going to be displayed width and height uh, width and the height of the window okay now float size you have we declared a variable size that is 3 clear color is going to uh, set the background color to white here it is blue right instead of that uh, if you use 1.0 1.0 1.0 1.0 your background screen will, uh, screen will be changed to white if you want black this is rgb coloring scheme red green and blue you can generate any color by mixing the three primary colors rgb that is red green and blue viewport is nothing but where the output is going to be displayed on the window for example you can consider this blue screen as a window in that you are uh, displaying the square right yellow square right this is the viewport the entire blue screen is a window in that window you are displaying the output right that place where you are displaying the output that can be considered as a viewport where your output is going to be displayed so uh, model view those things i am not going to discuss that because it's irrelevant mainly i need to concentrate on the uh, ev event here see here so here uh, in this program i used a mouse my mouse function you can see here if you press the left button so it will draw the square draw square xy so code for the square is here you can see getting my point guys so if you press the right button of the mouse it will terminate the program exit so right so when you press the left button the program draw the square if you press the right button the program will be terminated now mouse events are completed now i will move on to keyboard events keyboard devices are input devices you know that keyboard uh, mainly uh, contain characters and special symbols each character will have a ascii value right you know that right so for example if you want to uh, gen uh, if you want to recognize the 
keyboard event that means when you press a particular key in the keyboard event will be generated right how you are going to recognize that in open gl pins we, we have two functions here one is glut keyboard function right so this is the callback for events generated by pressing a key see the first function is used mainly when you press a key this glut keyboard function keyboard up keyboard up function is used when you release when you release a key that means when you press a key one function will be used when you release a key uh, the event will be generated right for that also we have a function that is glut keyboard up function hope you understood right so one is glut keyboard function another one is glut keyboard up function keyboard function is for pressing the key to gen to recognize the event that is uh, generated by pressing a key glut keyboard up function is used for uh, recognizing the event that is generated by releasing a key okay so here the C the information written to the program includes ASCII value of the key pressed and the position X comma Y of the cursor when the key was pressed. So when you press the key, the ASCII value of that particular key will be sent to the user ASCII value. Every character will have a ASCII value. For example, alphabet A has a ASCII value 65 like that for every special symbol for every uh, for every character we have a ascii value when you press that particular key in the keyboard uh, ascii value will be passed to the uh, ascii value is going to be passed to the cpu right of a particular key see here this is the example so void my key so here character key key will be stored in a variable char this is the argument in text comma y x comma y means it is the coordinate of the cursor coordinate of the cursor because key should be displayed here means if you if a letter is displayed along with that particular letter we have coordinate values also right right so so for example these are the letters right the every letter have some coordinate value understood the point guys okay now see example character key in x comma int y so which key you are using here small letter q and capital letter q so if you press either capital letter q or a small letter q that is upper case q or a lower case q the program is going to terminated it's going to be get program gets terminated getting my point so same way as the mouse you are going to use callback for the keyboard also because every time when you press the key the control must pass to the yeah, control must pass to this function getting my point so same as mouse events when you press a key in the keyboard also going to generate a keyboard event so in a keyboard there are two types even two types of event for when you press a key when you release a key for each event where i'm going to use different different functions right guys next next window events now you can ask a question what are window events for example when you maximize the window or you when you minimize the window when you resize the window resize means when you change the size of your window right uh, uh, every time the event is going to be generated when you minimize when you when you do maximize or when you resize your window the event is going to be generated you can see here a window event is occurred when the corner of the window is dragged to new position or size of the window is minimized or maximized using the mouse you can see here directly i'll go to the example here uh, directly i'll move to the uh, move to the example sorry so i'm going to use a reshape function reshape means when you minimize or maximize or when you drag your window your window is going to be window size is going to be changed right that's why reshape your uh, reshape uh, given the name reshape so for every window you have width and height right so window is a rectangle so window will be having width and height so you can see here so 
this is a reshape function every time when you reshape your window right you are going to pass a new values for width and new value for height getting my point see save a new window size see see you are passing every time the values for w and h w is for width h is for height so again for window events also we have a callback function which is that let reshape function every time when you resize or maximize or uh, minimize the window the control will be passed right to the function getting my point guys see the control will be passed to the reshape function hope you are understanding the concept suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section right now along with the window events we have display and ideal callbacks also now you can ask a question why why we need a display callback see here for example display callback is specified by glut using glut display function for example if you want to display anything on the screen you can use this display function it is going to display your output on the screen every time this function is when when the every time when this function is executed see it is invoked when glut determines that window should be redisplayed every time if you want to redisplay your output every time if you want to redisplay your window when the size changed when the width and heights are changed you can use this display function to display your window each and every time now re execution of the display function can be achieved by let post redisplay redisplay means if you want to redisplay the window uh, again and again you can use that uh, you can do that using this function that is glut post redisplay getting my point every time when the size is changed you can call that particular window using a glut display function suppose if you want to repost that particular window every time you can use you can use glut post redisplay now what is idle the idle callback is invoked when there are no other events it is specified by glut using glut idle function see idle function as the name suggests uh, it it remains idle when there is no events when the events are not generate uh, not, when the events are not there you can use this function your uh, program understand that there are no events if you use glut idle function getting my point guys so window management so window management means you can create window for example you can see here this is the window right what i am explaining to you guys is explained through the window how to create that particular window in a uh, glut means this is the command you can you create a window using a glut create window and you can give any name to your window here the name is given as second window you can give any name you want right and every window will have a id suppose if you have simultaneous windows that means two to two, more than one windows are the, more than one windows are there how to, how to identify each window you can identify each window by the id that is assigned to particular window right you can call a window and a sub windows okay using you can call any window main window or a sub window using this ids okay so so far what i have discussed so first i have discussed about event event is nothing but an occurrence in time if you do something right uh, it's going to ha uh, happening i mean in other words something is going to happen for example in a event what are the different types we discussed mouse event keyboard event window events right suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video